Sis, your silence is killing me. Talk to me, what is it? Sis, I am not fine. As I speak to you right now, I am stranded and hopeless at the same time. My goodness, I can't believe this. You mean your landlord locked you up? What is even wrong with landlords of nowadays? Just very few of them have the fear of God. But sis, you should have at least called me. Sis, I am so sorry. I didn't want to bother you. I know you have your own issues to handle. And we know the country is tough. I wasn't expecting him to lock me up. Because I had already promised to pay. But to my greatest shock, he took me to the cell and He made me sign a document that says if I don't pay in two days, I will go to court. You shouldn't have signed the document. You should have just gone to the court. Sis, this is not America. The moment I was released, I had to sell the few properties I had left just to pay six months out of the eight months I am still owing that man. God. He shocked me again. I was thinking he was going to allow me to stay, but no. He threw me out. But I'm just angry at him now. But sis, don't worry, all is well. You can't have me in this town and be stranded. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Don't mention. You are my sister. Whatever belongs to me is also yours. You know what? Let me just go to the kitchen, fix you something to eat. Then afterwards, I'll take you to your room. Don't worry. You have a sister in this town. You will never be stranded. Let me fix you something. Thank you so Thank much. You so Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Sandra. You don't come back. Yes, ma'am. For the fourth one. Ma, God has been good to you. Ah, you are a good girl. That you is a good girl. You are a hustler. God bless you. Ah, thank you. God bless you. Um, ma, um, I want to buy news. Oh. Okay.
Thank you. How was your day? Very well. I want to see you inside. Okay. I'm coming, honey. Mm. What is that lady in the still room doing in my house? Did you say lady? Don't tell me you don't recognize my cousin, Antonia. I never said so. All I asked is, what is she doing in my house? Did she quarrel with anybody in the office? Damn it! What is she doing in my house? Calm down. I will explain. She had an issue with her landlord. He even locked her up when he released her. She came here. Oh, you have not taken it upon yourself to act in this house without taking my permission. Oh, because your name is Queen? Even the real queens take permission from their kings before they act. Oh, my house has not become an IDP camp where you can just bring anybody without taking permission from me. Honey, why are you being dramatic here? Am I supposed to allow my cousin Walo in the streets when she has me here in the city? This is my blood we are talking about, not a stranger. Why are you flaring up? I am flaring up, right? The bottom line is this. I am not happy with your majestic decision. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm sorry if I offended you in any way. Please forgive me. I'm not done. She is not welcomed in my house. What? What did you say? Fix my dinner. Where's my wife? She's tidying up the kitchen. Um, she asked that I serve you. But trust me, she prepared the food. Did you enter the kitchen? Yes, I did. But trust me, she cooked the food. Your wife did. I hope she's fine. She's, she's fine. She'll soon be out. You can leave. Uh, Mr. Gibbs, I'm really sorry for barging in on you like this. I'm sorry for invading your 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 home and your family. But um, I had no choice. I had nowhere to run to. So I'm, I'm really really sorry. And I promise you, in due time, I will get a job and I will be out of here. Did my wife tell me anything? No, 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 not at all, sir. I'm here on my own. I just um, need you to understand that I am really sorry for the inconveniences and um, in no time I'll be out of your space. Um, um, it's okay. We are family. We can accommodate you as long as you don't cause any problem. No, 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 sir. I won't, sir. I would do everything under your rules. Um, sir, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. You may Thank you. Enjoy your meal.
I hope she has not poisoned this food so I can eat and die. Believe me, believe me, this might sound stupid or funny, but I'm no longer comfortable with Antonia living with us in this house. Something tells me, something tells me that she has ulterior motive, but I'm yet to figure it out. Good Lord, are we still on this discussion? The past four days that she's been staying here has been nothing other than blessing. You know, I came downstairs and everywhere was sparkling. I know you told me you had a dream where you saw her it killed me, but I know it's your hatred and doubt for her that is putting all that in your head. Just, honey, please, just be free with her. You, my sister is a very sweet soul. Just be free with her. You will love her. <clears throat> well, what can I say? I just hope. I just hope you're right this time. Honey, I'm always right. Have I ever been wrong before? with her. Honey, just free yourself. You like her. I'm sure your husband is okay with me being here. Why would you say that? It's just um, anytime he sees me, there's this attitude and it makes me uncomfortable. Sis, you have come to stay and that is final. Hold it. Since you came here, I haven't had you mention about any man. Why is that? Because I don't have any man. Yes, I have tried to get one over the years, but I couldn't. So I just decided to stop trying. Don't worry. Delay is not denial. With God, all things are possible. <laughs> I am not waiting for God. Yes, I am going to do things on my own and my way. Your way, how? I mean, why beg for a chair when I can build a table? I am not sure I understand what you just said. But I'm sure God does not want you to make any mistake. That is why you're experiencing delay. God. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sis. Hmm? We are going to leave this your preaching for another day, okay? For now, I am taking the bull by the hand. There she goes again. Please. Just pick someone and bring him home! Just like that? Yes! Oh, really? <laughs> Madam, please, I'm begging you. There's still no destiny for me. Huh? Yeah, I don't know what on my own. Hundred thousand. I don't know. A boy jumped the bag. I was talking. Come, 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 come. What did you just say? But the the the, the money was stolen. 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 Please, I'm sorry. Huh? Well, which people? A, 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 a guy jumped the bag from my hand and he ran away. And, and the money inside the bag. Get off first. Get 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 off. Get, get off. How much have I given you, sis? The money I've been paying you. How much? I, 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 I have saved these 15,000. 15,000? 
Yes. Oh yeah, let's let's go. Mama, 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 Confused, I don't know what to do. I don't feel my life is taking away from me. Nowhere to go, nobody to run to, and I'm dying in pains. Who's gonna come to my rescue? Accepted me was to rip my soul. Oh, oh. What did I do? What did I find? Oh, why is my own so different? Oh, everybody seems to be hating me. Why can't I be loved like every other person? Why can't I be loved like every other person? Ah, come on, Sandra. I can't be more serious than this now. How about? Hmm. Do you know I have been begging my husband to make me feel like a woman, but all to no avail. And you know I'm a master when it comes to seduction. Babe, I have tried several strategies, but they are not working. Okay, now listen. The other day, I came out of the bathroom stuck naked. Do you understand? To seduce him. But this man acted as though there was nobody in the room. As though I was nothing. Yes! Please, help me. I know, I know, yes, I know the kind of person you are. I know you are a strategist. So please, strategize something to me. Beg him. Okay. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, thank you very much. You see, you see, you see why, you see why I called you? I know I can count on you. Thank you so much. All right, I'll talk to you later, eh? 
Yeah. Right. What? What if the plan doesn't work? What if he already knows that's one thing no one should ever know? Gave me an urgent call now. She has an appointment for me. Are you going alone? I wanted to go with Antonia, but she said she's having stomach cramp, so we should just go alone. Well, I just hope it's safe for you to go alone. If it's not safe, I would have dragged you to go with me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll manage. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Okay. Promise me you won't sleep. I won't. Okay. See you soon. All right. Be careful. Um, um, I'm so sorry, I do stuff. Um, let me serve your food. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife told me you had cramps. Are you okay now? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm better, thank you. I should um, get your food. Come here, baby. Are you okay? Yes, yes. Um, I'm. I'm not okay. I. I think I'm not feeling well. Let. Let me go to my room and rest. Yes. Um, sorry. Excuse me. You've been moody since I came home. Did I stay longer than expected? How well do you know her? Know who? Antonia. Are you seriously asking me how well I know my favorite cousin? It's like asking me how well I know myself. Honey, what is it again? That's not what I mean. I mean, does she have a boyfriend or a man in her life? Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't get to your question in the first place. 
Well, talking about a man, I was shocked when I asked her and she said she does not have a man in her life. Though she's praying for God to send her Mr. Wright. You know, she's really a nice person and she has a good heart. That's good. But you need to be very careful. Ladies like that, once they break out of their shell, their venom is always very difficult to contain. Well, I pray she means well to you, just the way you do to her. And secondly, please, tell her to change her mode of dressing. I don't like it. She should change. At least give herself some respect and dignity. Has it migrated to her dress code? Everything she's wearing, I got her. Have you forgotten she was a model before she had an issue and came to this place? She has always dressed that way. Besides, I don't see anything wrong with a girl dressed the way she does in this 21st century. Okay, fine, fine, if that is what you want. Can I now have my husband to myself? Ah, please. <laughs> what was I thinking? I nearly spoiled things on the first attempt. But with you, does it mean he's interested in what he saw? Well, I will try one more time. I will keep trying. He is a man, not God. Even gods fall in love. I am sure I will get him no matter how long it takes. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> my friend, my friend. My chief planner of life. My strategia. Guess what? I employed the strategy you gave to me last night. Hi! Do you know my husband took me to Cloud 100? <laughs> Bad woman. See how you're laughing? Yes, he did. After that, then this morning, I prepared a wonderful Eh? I mean, a sumptuous breakfast for him to go to work. And he'll be back by 4 p.m., after which we're going to continue from where we stopped. <laughs> yes, so, oh, hey, is it not me? Yes, now. Eh, yes, at least with all this, he won't know about the secrets. Do you understand? Yes, now. Oh God, you are wonderful. Ah, wait, what would I have done without you? Ah, God, this my God will bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you for protecting my marriage. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll talk to you later. You know, you're such a hardworking man. Is there anything I can do for you? What exactly do you want to do for me? Can I join you? Sure, why not? Thank you. What do you really want, Antonia? 
<laughs> the fruit. Of course, the pretense. You think I don't know the passes you've been giving me? The hints, everything you've been doing. <laughs> I'm an adult. I need to understand all the passes you've been making to me. The hints, everything. You know, I thought by now this madness would have been cleared off your head, but I was wrong. You're not my problem. My problem is my wife, because she wouldn't even believe me when I tell her. So why don't you just cut off this pretense and come out clean? Wow. <laughs> Somebody has been doing his assignment. You know what? I admire your adulthood. And since we're speaking plainly, why? Don't you allow me to take you to the sun where everyone seems impossible to? Hmm? Get your hands off me. You're a devil. You're a devil incarnate. And don't you ever do this again. Devil! Get behind me, Satan. is this? No, this girl is a devil. I mean, does she think I'm one of those cheap men that she can just badge in and seduce any time, any day? She doesn't know what is coming to hit her. <sighs> yeah, she's beautiful, I know. Jeez. Oh, my wife is more beautiful. More sexy and more elegant than her. Clem, this, is, this isn't one of the things that should bother you at all. How dare you barge into my room to seduce me? Why are you alone? Is it that you don't like what you see? Can you? Hmm? Don't like me. my room. Get out now! Get out! Didn't you miss me? Are you not supposed to hug me? Oh, my baby, you're welcome. Why? <laughs> oh, come on, come here. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. And how are you? Just stressed, but I'm fine. Ah, okay. We just gonna have a bit. Okay. Just. 
<laughs> Go on, freshen up. Come in, let me freshen up. Should I tell her what her sister is up to? No, 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 no. Of course not. But that girl is too beautiful. God forbid. My wife is way better. Oh boy, that was so good. I, I have a lot I'm thinking right now. Please just allow me. Allow me. I can't think straight. Allow me, please. your words before using them and she now has a man it's high time she left can you please make it make sense to me and what is wrong with my statements everything is wrong with it what's the problem with my sister such an innocent soul tell me since she came to this house has she ever insulted you has she ever been disrespectful to you what is your problem? You know what? Just deal with whatever problem you have with her. I don't want to have this discussion anymore. How dare you? How dare you try to walk away from me? See, I've had enough. Enough of you and your cousin, that bitch of a girl in this house. What is wrong with you? See, enough is enough. I've had so much insult from you and that bitch you call your cousin. I come to my house every day and all I see is nudity everywhere. Instead of you correcting her, you're here just fire and shots with stupid excuses. What is wrong with you? She evil- Enough! She evil what? Why do you hate her so much? Tell me, is she dirty? Is she irritating? I have warned you. Tell your cousin to mind her dress code in this house. My house is not a brutal one. And you, my precious husband, take your eyes off my sister. And if you cannot, Continue to fix your eyes on her instead of you to calm down and see the goodness in her. Calm down and see the goodness in her. Hey, Queen, my baby. I know, I know you left already. I'm so sorry. But we were supposed to go together. Remember? It's okay. It's okay. But I want you to always remember that I love you so much. And I will be there for you at any time you need me. <laughs> but you know, I'm saying the statement of fact. The truth. Okay, baby. Okay. Please don't be long, okay? Alright. I just want to take my back. Alright. Love you. Hi. Come here. 
Am I no longer have peace of mind in my house? You can, because I'm your peace. Come on, let's make the best of it. You know see, I like it. see, 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 see. You end winning this war. I promise you. Are you sure? Huh? Are you really sure? Can you just stop? Oh, stop. Ah, uh, only your back. I mean, this is past two p.m. Why did you leave work? I'm sure you were not expecting me to stay in your office. After what you've said on the phone. Remember how you sounded on the phone? You ended the call by saying that I shouldn't bother about you, that you were fine. Were you expecting me to see that as minor? Come on, please, my love. Tell me. Tell me what the doctor say. The doctor said I am six weeks gone. Wait, you are six weeks gone. Oh my god, oh my god, wait, wait. as an egg right now and as such I shouldn't do any strenuous you know activities in the house in order not to lose my pregnancy uh, 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 it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay that we don't need for this uh, long face okay good we will obey doctor's instructions to the letter remember we're in this together okay good it's okay <sighs> Honey, I am a woman. I know. I, I, I have to do the house chores around. I can't just allow you to do house chores when I'm there no, as a wait, woman. Oh, you know oh, how oh, it is. It's okay. It's fine. Now, let, let me assure you. See, I... Come, 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 come. Let me tell you something. Honey, I promise. I promise to see you through all this. I cross my heart. Honey, we're doing this for our child. For a born child, what is house chores that I cannot do? What? Oh. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. We're in this together. No hard feelings. Okay? Let me take you inside. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Just forgot what the doctor said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in. Ah! This is good news. <laughs> we'll do exactly what it has to say. Okay? Yes, thank you. Let me help you with oh, this. Please, please. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Remember what it has to say. Thank you. I'll do it all. <laughs> wow. I was so scared. Oh, what? no. When you have someone like me. Come on. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you very much, my sweetheart. You know, I really appreciate you. You are a rare breed. Yes, why are you surprised? <laughs> you know, it's very difficult to find a man who is faithful to his wife. And what have I done to deserve all this eulogy? You have done everything. You know, I was so happy to see you and Tony seated together and laughing. <laughs> well, maybe someone listens to his wife. But to be honest, that girl, such a sweet soul to stay with. Hmm. Am I hearing this from you? Anyway, I'm very happy to hear this. So, um, she stays? If staying here is her intention, she's free to stay forever. Okay, let me quickly eat, freshen up then, give you the night trophy. Uh -huh. Yes! <laughs> Are you sure about this, Tonya? Tonya. No, 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 no. What I mean is, are you sure Tony is going to allow you to eat first before having your bed? Remember what she did the last time? She was right. You know, Tony can be very troublesome at times. In that case, let me freshen up first. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Um, ha, oh, no, you see me in the next 10 minutes. Yes, I'm hurrying to the office. Yes, I'm... Yes, uh, yes, you will see me. Of course, I know about everything. I am coming for the presentation. No problem, you will see me. <laughs> no hard feelings. Yes. <laughs> no problem, you will see me right now. Honey, oh, good morning, darling. How are you? What? Oh, come on, darling, tell me what is it this time. Mm. What is it? There's nothing good about the money. Why? Why the long face? My child is hungry. <laughs> How can a three months old baby be hungry? Just tell me what it is. Tell me. What it is this time? My unborn child wants to eat. Well, that's no problem. Daddy has already prepared something for you and my born child. Guess what? I prepared tea, shredded chicken, and omelette for you and the baby. <laughs> no. What? My baby wants to eat fried rice, chicken, and juice. Oh, that's no problem. You know, your husband is able to the task. Let me order it online. No, no. My baby doesn't want to eat online food. <sighs> Fine. I get it. Honey, I know you need some money to get the ingredients to prepare things for yourself. How do you want it? Should I do a transfer or you want it cash? <laughs> My baby wants homemade food. Honey... Honey, I, I know you're a good cook and you can cook for myself and my unborn child. 
And you know I can cook very well. Fine. Remember what the doctor said, that I shouldn't stress myself. But now you're making me stress myself, eh? So that I will lose my child. God it's forbid. not fair. God forbid. <laughs> Honey, please don't start. Honey, see, it's not as if I cannot cook for you. You know I've been cooking. I still remember what the doctor said. And I promise to help out. But there is this presentation I have to make at the office. It's very important to the company. And this presentation is uh, likely to take our company to another level. And I can't afford to lose out. Mm. Please. Okay, fine. Let me just go for this. When I come back, I will cook any food of your choice. Please. Honey, you don't love me. So you mean your work is more important than myself and your born child? You don't love us. You want us to die. God forbid. Honey, what will you say? Like you this? want us to die. God forbid. If we die, our blood will be on your head. It will worry you. My spirit will worry you. I reject it. My born child will worry you. <laughs> my blood will be on your head. And my, my child's blood will be on your head. You see, oh, honey. Nothing will happen to you and my upon child. God forbid. See, I promise to make it out. See, I promise to make it up to you. Okay? Let me just go for this presentation. When I come back, I'll do anything you want me to do, please. For now, let me just run. As you can see, they just called me a few minutes ago to run to the office. No. That the presentation will start in the next 10 minutes. No. If you go and come back out, you will see my body on the floor. Oh, God. In fact, I, I, I don't want the fried rice again. I want jollof fries. Turkey and salad. Oh, yeah, I don't cook for a mini restaurant. And in salad soup. <laughs> they add banana. Um, oh, fine. I would do, I would do all that. Um, but let me just go this and come back. No, add fried beans. <laughs> I'm fine. When are you coming back? Okay, good, good. Um, I don't know. I think she's upstairs or somewhere. I don't know. Yes, please get it. <laughs> Hi, sis. Are you okay? Why the face? I want to ask you a question. Sure. You can. Promise to tell me the truth. Nothing but the truth. I will definitely tell you the truth. If I know what you're talking about. Are you having an affair with my husband? What? Why would you even be asking me that kind of question? Answer my question. Sis, why would you be asking me a question you already know the answer to? I am not sleeping with your husband. I am not having an affair with your husband. I'm trying my best not to get pissed or lay a curse on you. What explanation do you have regarding the romantic and dirty text messages you've been sending to my husband? Oh my God. Did I make a mistake by using the wrong number? Hold, hold on, sis. What messages are you talking about? Could you do this to me, sis? You allowed anger to becloud your judgment. Why would you even think I would do this to you? You're the only one that took me in when I did not have a home. Why would you think I would do this to you? Maybe if you had been calm and take a very good look at this number, you would know it does not belong to your sister. What nonsense are you talking about? The 
this is not my number. Thank you. Stop this thing, Just stop, stop, please. Please let me go. Please. Since I said I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. Please don't leave. Please. Please let me go. I am having an affair with your husband, right? You and I know there can be no trust between a hammer and a rock. Eventually, one or the other would break. I don't want you to regret this decision in the future, so please let me go. Wait, wait hold on. Please leave me to worry about it, please. I don't want you to go back to suffering, please. I want to go and suffer. No, please, no, please. Just forgive me, just this once, this once, please. Please, no. Small thing you don't invest now. Please go now. Why not go first? Just go. Why not go first? Oh. Yeah. And you left me to carry your bags now. Yes, carry your duty. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't feel my life is taking away from me. Imagine this idiot! I was carried in. Come, 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 come. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry, Harry. I scolded at you. Why are you crying? I'm sorry, I I used a harsh voice on you. But I was just doing it because of other road users. There are some drivers that are reckless. So you have to be more careful next time. I, I was carried away and I'm not crying because of what happened. I've been through a lot and I, I'm hungry. You've not eaten? Then where are your parents and where do you stay? My parents? Yes. I am an orphan. My parents are dead. What? And as for where I stay, I sleep in the market at night and make sure I leave there in the morning so no one will see me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about everything. It's okay. It's okay. And uh, what is your name? Are you serious? Hi. No. Sandra, honestly, your, your story is indeed a sad one. Very pathetic. Honey, did you hear that? I did. Wait, wait, wait. You mean your uncles blamed you for the death of your parents and banished you? Eh? God. This world is indeed something else. Um, my love, I don't know how you feel about this, but I am considering her staying here with us. What do you think? 
Um, well, I don't have a problem with that. In as much as she's not going to be a threat to me and my unborn child. There's no problem. Um, um, ma, ma, I, I'm a very good girl. You like me. I won't be a threat to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you say so. It's all right. Just wipe your tears, okay? Come, come, come. It's okay. Huh? You'll be fine. You'll be fine here, okay? Um, come on, let me quickly show you to your room. Huh? Yeah. My, my room. Yeah, your room. I, I have a room in this house. <laughs> of course you do. Let's go. Honey, <laughs> asked you to get for me. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh God. How could I? Honey, do you know I totally forgot? No, no. No, 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 it wasn't intentional. But I reminded you and you said you promised to get it for me. It was because of this incident. Please, let me quickly show her to her room so no, I'll get, get no, it. No, no, no. My unborn child wants to eat shower, ma. Honey, I know. Let me just take her to her room. I'll go get it right now. No, Let's no. go. No, 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 no. Honey, what? What is wrong? <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Um, um, Sandra, please, um. Let me go get Shaoma for her. I'll come and show you to your room. Okay, sir. Okay? It's all right. Just sit down, please. Where, where are my car keys? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Antonia. Are you drunk or what? Answer my question. Queen, I'm very tired right now. I'm not cut out for your jokes. Do I sound or look like a clown to you? What is the meaning of all this? Are you suffering from amnesia not to remember that Antonia is your sister? That is not what I want to hear. I am not talking about my sister. And what the hell do you want me to talk about? To ensure that devil does not let loose of her demons tonight. Clement Ikimba Thomas. Who is Antonia Crush? Who is she to my husband? Where did you get that name from? You forget my fingerprint is also registered in this phone. Oh, you are the one with this phone I've been looking for since morning. Please, give me the phone. You must have a death wish. Answer my damn question! You know it's indeed very heartbreaking for the one I called my wife not to trust me. <laughs> Look at Boutrous talking to Caesar about trust. Like seriously? If you indeed call yourself my woman, the first thing you will look out for is my replies to those texts. Oh, you found none. I didn't want to bug you with the talks of that woman because I know you trust me. And I know you believe in me anytime, any day. If you must know, that woman was a woman I met during my presentation in GIG. Well, she fell in love. That's not my fault. I tried warning her. I want her severely to stop stalking me or texting me, but all to no avail. What do you want me to do? I left her all alone. Thanks goodness, I don't even breathe those texts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Really 
thank God I never replied any of those Antonia's text messages. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave you to sleep here alone. That will be your punishment. And if I ever see you close, anywhere close to the guest room, I will double your punishment. What did I do? Who did I friend of? Why is my own so different? Oh, everybody seems to be hating me. Auntie, what is it? What is it? Why are you screaming? Honey, what is it? What are you doing on the floor? Sonda, what's going on here? Honey, what's, what's the problem? Talk to me, talk to me. What is it? Because I had Sandra to clean the table. Yes. And she pushed me on the floor. Ha 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 ha. It's not true. Uncle, I was I was cleaning the table then I, I, I heard her screaming. When I turned back, I saw her on the floor. <laughs> Sandra, I understand. I I believe you. <laughs> Honey, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this this early morning? You and I know that this Sandra here cannot touch you, let alone push you down. Huh? Eh? Why are you creating a scene where there is none this morning? Please. So, you are calling me a liar in the sorry. presence of a stranger. I'm sorry, you're not a liar. You now believe a stranger. Oh, God. You are calling myself and my unborn baby girl a liar. Oh, fine. God. No, you didn't God. lie. Okay, fine. Can you just stand up, please? Okay, just stand up. Okay, let me help you up. Just... My weight! My weight! What? My weight! Massage my weight! She broke my weight! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm running late to work. What is all this this morning? Eh? What is drama? Let me just help you up. Just stand up, please. Only <laughs> Zara, stop all this! What's all this rubbish from? What are you trying to achieve with all this? Oh, heaven. <laughs> by my name, Vera. Oh, holy Moses. In her presence, you called me Vera. No, no. Okay. Because of you. Please, because you say what please, you please. Okay, that. forgive me. Yes. Okay, forgive me on her behalf. Okay, sorry, forget it. Oh. Forget everything now. Stand up now. I'm running late to walk. <laughs> What's all this drama? What's all this now? Hey. You called me my name. You called me Vera! Oh, you called me Vera! No, 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 Sis. 
How long do you want to allow yourself to drown in the ocean of guilt? How long? Until fate is satisfied. And what if you drown? Dear Aisha Rubin, until the one who pierces. But as the one who pierces my life jacket comes calling. Sis, sister, please talk to me. I am confused. Is there something else aside the confrontation? Because I don't understand the level of hatred he has for you now. Okay? A problem shared is half solved. Talk to me. I am here for you. A problem shared may be half solved or even doubled. Depending the heart that receives it. Sis, please. Just let me carry the cross I carved for myself. What do you mean I can't? I can't. Listen. I promise, okay? I will stand by you. I will not leave your side. But you have to man up, else you will lose your husband. matter probably she missed the drill i think the best thing for you to do is just to ask her to take this one inside and bring the one you want no. why do you always look for a slightest mistake to punish her i don't like it um sandra please stand up from there please wait, wait, wait. stand up go to your room where So this is it, right? Please, I don't want this. I had a hectic day at the office. You don't even care about your unborn child. Mirabel, don't worry. I know your daddy doesn't love you, but I will take care of you, okay? I will be with you. I will stand by your side. I will feed you. I want my husband's touch. Which touch? I'm happy, Maka. See, I am unavailable. In fact, it is mission impossible. Says who? 
No, answer me. What's your problem, Clem? You have really changed. Change? Biko, can you define the meaning of change? Because here, I do not see any change here. No? Huh? What has come over you, Clem? I have apologized to you countless times, all to no avail. You have suddenly changed. You are gradually tearing us apart and I'm not going to stand and watch you. And what are you going to do about it? Huh? It's high time I took what is rightfully mine by force. And, and what do you mean? Watch me. Watch! Watch! Watch. Ah! What is wrong with you? I will hit you again and again if you dare that rubbish with me again. What is wrong with you? See, I'm looking at Chen. I am not interested. Can't you see it? Is there any part of the English you do not understand? Be careful with me. Clement slapped me. He slapped me just because I wanted to make love to him. This is something he likes doing every night. Yes, I know I accuse him of infidelity, but I promise I've begged him a million times. You say he will come around. The same thing my sister said, but the question is when? Olivia, I no longer enjoy happiness in my home. It's like evaporated overnight. He doesn't touch my food anymore. I can't even seem to wrap my hand on any fact. Olivia, I'm, I'm really tired. I don't know, I, I, I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. It's not yet washed. Why? I. Auntie, Speak up! Auntie, my stomach has been paining me. I, I have stomach ulcer. And I, I, I think most of the food drink, especially the orange you forced me to take, I, I think they, they brought it up again. I wish to work. Oh, oh, oh. Are you indirectly telling me that I am the cause of your stomach ulcer? Is that what you're saying? No. But it is. Uh, and, I, 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 but it's too bad. Will you shut up? <laughs> Nonsense. Listen to me. Before. I return back. I want to see all the clothes washed and lined up on this rope. Else, the banishment they gave to you will be nothing compared to what I am going to unleash on your frustrated life. Stupid girl. Now will you stand up and finish what we are doing? Sandra! Sandra, am I not talking to you? What, what was this? Eh? Just a small slap and you're acting. Sandra! Sandra. 
Sandra. Sandra. Sandra. You will live long. I just mentioned your name now. Oh, um, I want you to go to the kitchen and prepare noodles for me. Thank you. Um, Sandra, walk straight to your room. I don't want to see you in that kitchen tonight. Go. I am sure you know what happens whenever you disobey me. Try it. Girl, are you not tired of the things you do in this house? One day, hundred troubles. Just take a good look at this girl. Take a proper look at this poor orphan. At least you will notice that she's in serious pain. This girl in question has ulcer, peptic ulcer. Yet you force her to do heavy chores in this house on an empty stomach. Have you started again? Well, friend, shut up! Do you know that the acidic content of those fruits you gave to her the other day nearly killed her? You forced her to take triple of the fruit. She brought to show. Simply because she obeyed you. Who are you? How am I supposed to know she has all My friend, shut up! I am not done talking to you. Do you know how embarrassed I was at the hospital today? Do you know? The doctor called me to tell me there will be more food in our house here. Vera, you and I know that we we'll have more than enough food in this house. But you choose to dent my reputation. I am waiting for you to deliver. I am waiting for you to put to bed. Then I will show you how to do it. Um, Sandra, walk straight to your room. Um, honey. Um, please, I want you to prepare noodles for your unborn child. Thank you. Put to bed first. Then we shall see. What are you still doing there? My friend, I said you want to let you go.
So be careful, you keep around you. You might come back and help. Tomorrow, I'll be like Scotland. Hi, baby. <clears throat> so, you told your wife you have a cold. And that's the reason why you don't want to go to work. You're right. Mm. And let's say my auntie cold is here. Okay then, so my patient, are you ready for your first dose? I was born for this. Ma? Ma? Will you come here? What are you doing? Ma, I'm, I'm making sure the kitchen is sparkling clean as you instructed. And who instructed you that the kitchen must be sparkling clean? I, I instructed myself. Good. Now come. Come. Now go back. You see that video? What did you see in the video? Gary? Mm -hmm. Pamkani and salt. Good. Now, this was how the people of those days used to take their Gary, okay? Before the invention of milk and sugar. So, I want a taste of such epic episode. Ma? Ma, 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 you know, don't you think it will be harmful to you and your child? So, sorry, ma. Give me money to buy pamkane. We already have Carry and salt in the kitchen. Are you mad? Eh? Listen to me. You will have to go to one of those bushes and look for palm canyon. Okay? And bring it. I want to make a video while breaking it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Will you get out? Get out! If you like, go and sleep there. Don't return. Wait for my husband to come. And when you return, I will show you the stuff I'm being made of. Stupid girl. Yes. Yes, only. Please give me 10 minutes. I forgot the document at home. I just rushed back to it. Yes, baby girl, I'll be with you, I promise. See ya, see ya, see ya. You have decided to spoil my epic moment by bringing this quantity of Gary. Was this the quantity you saw in my phone? Ma, 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 it's the same thing, you know. It's just that where they bought the Gary on your phone is different from where I bought this Gary. That's why it's like that. Oh, you want to tell me what to do? Listen. If you don't finish this, Gary, you will die. I will kill you today. You must take it. Ma, I, I, the doctor said I am an ulcer patient and I'm advised not to take Gary. Please don't do this to me. Go and tell your doctor that you have to finish Gary. No, you have to take it. Ah! 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 Rubbish. Anything that wants to happen, should happen. Nonsense. And when you stand up, you clear, clear this place. Stupid girl. Nonsense. <laughs> When you finish crying, you clear this place. Nonsense. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know what to do.
What's all this? What's going on here? It's nothing. It's nothing everywhere. It's messed up. Look at you. Look at your body. Everywhere is messed up, and you're telling me nothing. Chandra, I don't want to lose it on you. Tell me what happened. It's Auntie. She said she wanted to drink Gary and asked me to go inside the bush to get her palm kernel, which I did. When I got back, she said she, she doesn't want to use palm kernel again. I, I, I should go and draw it. Uncle, I drew the palm kernel and I made the Gary for her. And now she's saying she doesn't know what to drink the Gary again, that the quantity of the Gary is not the same t uh, as the one in her phone. And asked me to drink the Gary or, or, or she will kill me. Did you drink the Gary? I did not drink it. That was why she poured it on my body. Where is she? She's inside. Vera. Vera! Vera! How could you? How could you? How could you? Clement, how could you betray our sacred vow? How could you desecrate our matrimonial bed? to send that girl out of this house but you ignored. I gave you clues every day but you ignored. Instead you kept her in this house. That's not all the pressures. That's not everything I've told you. You kept her here. Now look at what has happened. Movie. You're supposed to find a believable light and paint it. <laughs> Must you wrap your bitter stupid justification on my face? <laughs> Clement! After all we've been through! Oh my god! Somebody wipe me up from this! Wipe me up! Clement! You're just a very useless What am I going to do now? This pregnancy will be due very soon. What am I going to do? Who do I turn to? What am I going to do as regards this top secret of mine? 
Okay, I know what to do. Let me call Michelle. Michelle is a good strategist. I am sure she will definitely find a solution. Hello, Michelle. Michelle, I am not fine. Listen, I am in a deep mess right now. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. What do you mean you don't understand? Eh? See, you know this is the eighth month of my pregnancy and I'll be due next month. Yes. What? Like, I should tell this month? <sighs> Babe, are you smoking right now? How can you say such a thing? You know, I cannot tell Desmond my worst secrets. Yes! Ah, come on, babe. See, you have to do something. Eh, look for something else. Yes! Okay, okay. Please, I am counting on you. Please don't disappoint me. All right, all right. Thank you. I'll call you. All right, bye. What is the problem? Why did you bring me here? Uncle. I know I'm not supposed to meddle into your family affairs. But I can't keep mute. Especially because of your kind gestures towards me. Sandra, talk to me. Talk to me. Bringing me here alone is a suspect that is killing me already. Spear the milk. Promise me you won't confront her. Why? Oh, fine. Is that what you want? I promise. Auntie has been very worried these days. The kind of calls she makes are suspicious. What kind of calls has she been making? It's concerning her pregnancy. My wife's pregnancy? What about it? She's always telling this person on the phone that she's scared because she has one month to give birth. And also talking about one big secret. One big secret. Out of my house. No, don't please, torture please. me. Now, 
Leave my house. Leave my house. Come on, get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> and how is our baby kicking? Are you alright? I want to use the restroom. I feel like throwing up. She's always telling this person on the phone that she's scared because she has one month to give birth. And also talking about one big secret. One big secret. What exactly is going on in my house? What is this big secret that my wife is hiding from me? Could it be that the pregnancy is not mine? Or that the baby is already dead and she doesn't know how to tell me about it? Should I confront her? No. I don't have any concrete evidence to engage her in such conversation. She does not even allow me to touch her stomach like I used to. Something is definitely wrong and I need to figure it out before it gets out of hand. So, oh, Papa, that, um, that is how the seed I sowed in tears ended up yielding tears in harvest. Mm. I still find it difficult to believe that Antonia, the daughter of Ikemba, who couldn't hurt a fly, 
when she was here in the village could take away your husband with no just cause. Just like that. Hey, you can not know. Papa, I took her in as my own. I, I protected her. Even when my husband harassed me to chase her away. I took her in as my own. I I protected her. I challenged him. I challenged him for someone I thought was my sister. But I did not know she was on a dangerous mission. This is sad. Very sad. <laughs> you don't know him, but someone even proposed to her. Even at that, she still had her eyes fixed on my husband. No. Oh. I'm tired. Why mm. is it that bad people keep progressing while the good ones suffer? Mm. Oh, I'm tired. I don't think I can live without Clemens in my life. I just I just want to die. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that, my daughter. Wipe away your tears. My, my daughter, cheer up. Huh? This is one of the crucibles of the uh, life. Cheer up. Uh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Uh, wipe away your tears. Uh, that is what the holy book says. Uh, I'm sorry, but the time for that is over. Uh, it's time to take the bull by the horn, just like she said. Antonia. I think I have to live a little longer. Just wait and see what is coming your way soon. Ah, uh, Clement, my in-law. Oh God. I want to know why you sent my daughter, your wife. Queen, out of your house without prior notice. I know none is so good. What is really the problem? Explain, let me hear you. Uh, Papa, um, I have a meeting to attend today by 4 p.m., so ah. I will make it very, very short. Uh, you said so. I, had you um, I did not come here because I wanted to honor your call. Uh -huh. I came here out of my own volition to make my stand known to you about your daughter, Queen. Uh, Papa, as it stands now, I do not have interest in marrying your daughter anymore. Hey. Like, whatever bounds the both of us is now in the past, and it's noid and void. Namada and Noze. Has you come to that level? Yes, yes. And please, be informed and tell your kinsmen to prepare my diary. Ano chagom. Eh? Si kwa gunga. Is he come to this? Level? Yes. Eh? Hey. Clement. You know, before I used to think you are just a fool. But now I just confirmed you are still a fool and you do not have common sense. So you left your house, mm. drove your dead body to my house. To talk about an issue, you would have just called over the phone. You know what? Listen, your diary will be refunded and paid in full. Wow. Stand up. Get out from my house before you see the other side of me. What? You know, near. Mm. Can you can you hear your get daughter? Up. You can get up. Get out of my house. You're kind of you going you to have. see the beast in me. Uh, no, you can, you can see the kind of beast in me. Go Clement, get out of this house! I will talk. I will go, go, go for now. Papa, I don't like this. Get out! There you are. I don't even want to see you in this house again. Papa, why did you even entertain this in good? I want to straighten things out. Let me not see you in this house again or else I'll pour you out oil. Papa, please, I don't want to see him in this house again. You should not allow that idiot in this house again. Huh? Is that so? 
Hey! Hey! I'm confused. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hello? It's a justice. Yes, yeah, speaking. Uh, what am I on to? My identity shouldn't be your utmost priority. What I have for you, which you will definitely appreciate, is what matters right now. And what is that if I may ask? A parcel that will definitely be open doesn't need to be finished. Meet me up at your performance suite as soon as you can. When? Now? Uh, uh, hello, hello, hello? 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 Oh, get Thomas suits. This is strange. It's okay, let us wash the house. It's okay, it's okay. Careful, careful. Okay. Ah! Be careful. Just be careful with the steps. Uh, <coughs> yeah, Honey, okay. ah, take it easy. I'm taking it easy. You're pressing my waist. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Massage my back. Your back. Yes. How? Slowly. I'm taking it easy. Slowly. Right, let's go. Let's go, please. Ah! Let's go. Let's go. There's no time before we put to bed in the house. Please, my let's legs. go. Be careful with the steps. One more step, okay? Ah! A step at a time. It's okay. Let's go. Should I back? Oh, wait, no, I can't wait, back. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Wait. Honey, what are you trying to do? You can't ah! sit back at this time. No, now, nah, honey. Ah! This is wrong. Let's rush the hospital, please. Let's go. Honey. Scratch my back. Oh, God. Please scratch my back. This way. Scratch it. Scratch. Okay. Hard. Hard. Are you okay? The middle. The mid oh God. What is all this? Where? Only okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 you can't sit back now. Only you put to bed here. I wouldn't know what to do if you give birth in this house, oh. Let's go, please. Only just try, try. Try and manage. Please. Just try and manage, oh. Let's go, oh. Only. My love. Sweetheart, please, let's go, oh. I wouldn't know what to do if we give birth in this house. Uh, 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 Sandra, go and get my khakis. Go and get my khakis. Oh, please, let's go. Let's go. Please, we're almost there. Let's go. Huh? What? Go now. Let's go now. Honey, are we not going to the hospital again? Huh? Sandra, what are you doing with me? Give me my khakis. Oh, honey, stand up now. Please, let's go. You put the bed in this house. I wouldn't know what to do. Come on, let's go. Please. Let's go. Wait. What? The baby has stopped. Stop doing what? The baby has stopped kicking. Oh, okay. Uh, just stand up, please. Just manage and stand up. Let's go, please. Yes, the baby has stopped kicking. Let's go back. Uh, no, I know. Just stand up a little, please. Just manage. Manage. What now? Let's go back. Go back where? Stand up now, or something, let's go back. Please. Please. Yes, yes. What? The baby has stopped kicking. Let's go inside. Please. Go inside and do what? What is going on? <sighs> okay, fine. Okay, let's quickly rush to the hospital. At least see the doctor. Remember the last resort you brought home here? You said you have complications. So, I don't want anything to happen to this baby. I don't want anything to happen to this child. Please, let's rush to the hospital. Let's go, please. I don't understand. What's your problem? Eh? What's wrong with you? What's your problem? Eh? Were you not the one that impregnated me? Who, who do you want me to call if I'm in labor? Who else do you want me to call? After all, this child is just eight months old. It's not even up to nine months. I have four weeks left. Do you want me to, to deliver a premature child? Is that what you want? Don't stress me. Oh. Don't stress me. Vera. Vera. Vera, what is really happening? Because this is not the lady I got married to. What is going on? 
Wait. Remember you called me while I was still in the office? Saying that you would die if you did not give birth to this child today. So what is going on? Are we not going to the hospital again? Fer, I'm talking to you. You know what? I am sick and tired of this whole thing. Regardless, I said I will help you in this pregnancy. But Will you, will you go inside? See our head. Sorry, yeah? Oh my God. You lost me. Who's gonna come to my rescue? Only one that accepted me. Who's the No way, no. After all I've done for her? No, no, no. Antonia, Antonia. How could she be this wicked? I mean, I can't just even imagine seeing her in the hotel room with another man. No, this is not happening. But I was so nice to her. I loved her so much. I even proposed. What, what's going on? We're married. This is not happening. What do I do? What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Just to stink. Hello. Yes. Oh, Queen. Um, Queen, please. Um, can you meet me in my place? Wow. Karma indeed is a bitch. You know, I gave life a thought. And the only thing I could remember was you saying, holding the bull by the horn. I now realize that expecting things to happen without putting any effort is like sitting at the airport and waiting for the ship to arrive. You know what? Just go back to your baby. I am with my own baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. Stop shedding those crocodile tears. Come on, indeed. Is a bitch. Queen. You think you won this battle? Hmm. I will show you that a student can never outsmart his teacher. <laughs> Queen, I will so deal with you. I will make life unbearable for you that you will look for death and you will not find it. And as for you, Justice, <laughs> you had the F on tree to abandon me. <laughs> I will deal with you. And your suffering begins now.
person. Good morning, Sandra. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Oh, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. See the way everywhere is sparkling and clearing. Thank you. Have you had your breakfast? Not yet. Why? Um, Sandra, have you forgotten that you are not a person? To be truly something of the people sample as an eat for them. Please, uh, eat your food and after that take your drugs, okay? Thank you. I'll be back soon. Uh, please, while coming back, get me chicken, chips, and shawarma. Thank you. There. There. Is this all you care about in this house? Eat this and eat that and eat this. I should get a chicken, shawarma. What about milkshake? This is all you care about in this house. Don't you care about this, your condition? Are you not bothered about your condition? What is wrong with you? What an insult. Is it because I asked you to get my unborn child and I, chicken? Hey, 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 please hold it there. What unborn child are you talking about? Vera, what is wrong with you? Are you not ashamed of yourself? The last time I checked, you've been carrying this pregnancy for over 12 months plus. Are you now an elephant that gives birth at 18 months? Look at her. What's her name? Uh, 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 this is my colleague, uh, 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 Jane. My CEO secretary. She took in the same time with you. Now her baby is three months old. And you're still moving around with this. Vera, tell me the truth. Did anyone curse you? This month! Are you cursed because of your bad character? Or did you use this pregnancy for ritual activities? How dare you! Answer me! No worry. Answer me! Talk to me! This I will not watch you insult me! How dare! Jimo! Honestly, Queen, I'm so short of words. Sorry, I took you unawares. That's why I had to propose. Trust me, Queen, you won't regret this. Okay? I promise, I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. I will treat you right. And I'll make you the envy of every other woman. Trust me. Please just give it a thought, okay? Please. And try treat me urgent. Because I can't wait to have you as my wife. Alright, darling. Okay, fine. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Alright. Vera, so you're the one holding my boxers, and I was looking for it all over this house. When I asked you, should I show her Sandra? I remember the clothes I bought for you on our wedding night. I was asking you about that clothes. All you could say is that I should ask Sandra, not knowing that you have the clothes in. My 
love. Please forgive me. It was the hard work of the devil. Shut up! Don't bring the devil into this. So long as I'm concerned, the devil is a saint here. Vera, what have I done wrong to you? Why did I offend you? After all the love I've shown you, after everything, what did I do to deserve this? What? Vera, you subjected me to suffering. For 12 months with hard labor. What was my offense? My love, I'm sorry. How dare you? Don't you ever <coughs> call me that name again. If I hear that word love from you, I will strangle you with my bed. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. about my secrets. I don't have a womb. And it was as a result of the series of abortions I did while I was in school, while I was single. As it stands now, I have a very slim chance of getting pregnant. God. 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 I'm sorry. I can't believe that I've been sleeping with a fellow man in my house. Fair. Fair. What have I done to deserve this ill treatment from you? Stop it. Stop it. Please forgive me. Fair. Go to your room. Pick up all your belongings. Ah. I leave this house this moment. Don't touch me. Please beg you, Lord. Please, who do I know? Where do I go to? Go to anywhere. No, please, Sorry. please don't do this to me. Go to. Please beg him for me. Go to anywhere, but not here. Only please. Don't allow me to lose the gentleman in me. Only please, I beg in the name of God. Sandra. Please. What are you doing? I've always looked at you as my role model ever since I came into this house. I owe you a life debt because of all you've done for me. Sir, if you could pick up a girl who had given up on life from the streets, how much more your wife? I am a believer of second chance because of you. Are you now saying that I should do? As we forgive those who trespass against us, crucibles come in diverse forms. Come. 
Just spill it. Let me try. Oh, I just spill it. Only my ears are itching me. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. Oh. Um, the lady standing before you is going to be a lover. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 come on, wait, wait, wait. honey. Tell, tell me you're joking. As a matter of fact, from now to seven months, I'm going to make you a father. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I love you, darling. Wow. Oh my god. Honey, I have never stopped believing in you. In fact, I'm very proud of you. Thank you. From the moment I proposed marriage to you, I knew you were married. Yeah, now, I'm so happy you're going to make me a proud father. Yes. <laughs> so, um, there's something I want to do for you. I want you to go in. She into something very sexy. Oh yeah. So I take you out and I spoil you a bit. Oh, did I write the way? Just... Mm. <laughs> hey, I think I'm ready now. Ready for what exactly? I don't understand. You have been asking me to marry you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it indeed took you a whole lot of time to make such a decision. And what is that supposed to mean? Don't worry. Are you no longer interested in marrying me? I never said that. As a matter of fact, I'm very, very happy. I'll put a call across to my kinsmen tomorrow to let them know about my latest decision and also to make sure everything necessary for this occasion and wedding is made success. Better. Um, you know what? I need you to go dish out the food. Yes, please, because I'm very tired. Okay. Why are you still sitting? Is there a problem? Uh, <coughs> no, not at all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're I just got off the phone with my friend, Dr. Frank. Oh, okay. He told me Queen just delivered a set of twins some moments ago. Okay, so what's the problem with the news? Something tells me those children are mine. I mean, 
Come to think of it, how could she have delivered those babies in such a short period of time with him? True. True. So what do you want to do? What's your plan? This might sound crazy, but I want to retrieve my sons. They are my blood. I want to have them back. If that is what you want to do, trust me, I will support you. <laughs> no, you're joking. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, I, I thought you're going to be mad at me. Thank you so much, baby. <laughs> Thank you. This is why I love you. Come on, come here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. Okay, now you have to go upstairs and freshen up. Thank you. You're welcome. Go. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. <Whoa. laughs> Queen, queen, queen. <laughs> this is the end of your beginning. We shall see. What nonsense. What rubbish is he even spewing? What, what, what is he even saying? Whose wife and children was he referring to? Oh, honey, I think that guy has probably been taking some hard drug that's not been good for his brain. But then, if he dares exhibit such a character in the compound again, then I will locate him to the psychiatric home where he belongs. Honey, I think we should report him to the police. I know Clement so well. He, he's whenever he's so desperate, he doesn't take any issue lightly. Well, he can be desperate for all I care. Besides, why is he even desperate? The children, are they his? Are we talking about his wife? Honey, you are my wife, okay? So I mean, I don't think there's any points involving the police. Because if he dares, I will treat him like the small boy that he is. Trust me. It's okay, don't worry about that. Just relax. Relax. What insolence! What audacity! You mean that idiot laid his hands on you? Knowing full well you have come to claim what is yours. Baby, you needed to say the embarrassment. This young man practically pushed me like a common criminal. He used all forms of demeaning words on me, Clement. The greatest python that even bite its owner. He has touched the tail of a python. He will never go scot free, for there dwells its poison. My husband. Yeah. 
I love how brave you have become. Taking the bull by its hand. But you know what? I blame you. Because I asked to go with you and you refused. I foresaw all this. You said you could handle it. That he's just the puppy. On getting there, you have now realized that that puppy is a lion's cub. And no lion is small. However, my husband, permit me to join you in this fight. You know I have longer legs than you. And I know how to handle these people. Trust me. <laughs> They're just flies. I know how to handle them. my babies. Honey, honey, don't, honey, don't you see any sign here? Having the same dream two consecutive times. Honey, no, honey, I, I think we should involve the police in this, please. And tell them what, honey, that you had a dream and your babies were taken from you? No, honey. Tell them how Antonia has been coming here to threaten us. Well, baby, we don't have any empirical evidence. Okay, what do we tell them? Come on, honey. Until we have a very factual evidence, then we can report the case to the police. Okay? Um, oh, sorry. It's your dad. Um, hello, <laughs> my in-law. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Oh, well, Clem came to the house and was saying all sorts of nonsense that I don't understand. Well, that's okay, it's fine by me. So what time, sir? Oh, that's all right. Okay, okay. Good night, sir. All right. What did he say? Uh, well, he, he said Clem, Antonia, and I should come and see him in the village tomorrow. And he said um, he doesn't know if you're fit to travel, so he wouldn't want to disturb you. Honey, you're not going to leave me here all alone. Doctor said I'm fit to travel from tomorrow. Besides, I want to have first-hand information. Oh, well, honey, you know this is not all about you. What about the boys? Since the doctor said I can travel, they'll be fine. Uh, okay, let's just sleep over this, okay? Okay. So, can you go back to sleep? Sting. Longest time. Yes, I'm very good. Are the boys on standby? Okay, um, that is very good because I have a job for you. Yes. As soon as I drop this call, I'm going to send you an address 
and a picture of a woman. I want you to go there, kill her, and bring the babies back to me. Yes. It's as simple as that. And sting. I don't want to hear any excuse. Don't give me any reason to doubt you. No mistakes, please. Okay. Thank you. Think. I'm so sorry I missed your call. <sighs> Look, I am sorry about the last time. I am so sorry it went south. Look, we're currently in the village. Yes, we came for an emergency meeting. This time around, I am going to give you the exact location of where they will be. Sting. Listen and listen carefully. This time around, I want you to kill the man, the mother, and the babies. Leave no stone untouched. Yes. I will alert you as soon as I leave you. Papa. I came here to make my point clear. Please tell your daughter, Queen, to come to my house, return my children to me. They are my blood. They are my blood. Let them come home. After breastfeeding those kids, she can go. The one event here, she can go and leave my children with me. Oh, oh, oh. Claim or what the hell you call yourself. You should realize you're talking to someone else's wife. Okay? So please watch your words. Oh, yeah, boy, Jerry. Look, look at, look, look at who is talking. I, I claim, I claim, claim. I don't want this ranting. You came here to, to rant, as if you are released from a psychiatric hospital. <laughs> claim. Your dowry was paid to you in full, so you don't have any claim on my daughter, uh, uh, Queen, any longer. As for the paternity of the children, it's the woman that knows uh, the father of uh, the children. At this point, she will have to speak for herself. I'm, I'm it's okay. It's okay. Let her tell us. Because those kids are my children. Let her tell us. Deny it. Clement. You want me to refresh your memory? Okay, I will. I have all the time. From the day I saw a romantic text on your phone, you stopped touching me. Till the day you chased me out from your house. You didn't make love to me. I never for once felt or feel any sign of being pregnant. Not until my sweet husband <laughs> made love to me. I got pregnant and I gave him cute babies. Did you hear that? Sorry to disappoint you. They're not your kids. <laughs> Baba, you see this on data? This on is a pathetic liar. You are a liar. Hey, God. See, Baba, I am giving you people four days. Huh? Four days on Mother Mo. Huh? Somebody will die here. Four days. <laughs> For the fact that a little dragon is also called a dragon does not mean it breathes fire like the father dragon. Now listen and listen carefully. Let this be the last time. I mean, the very last time you threaten my wife. Four days. I am not afraid of you. Four days. 
if I don't have my children in my house, or somebody will die. After four days, I'm be here to see how the dragon's gonna spit fire. Sting, you are a fool. Yes, I gave you a simple instruction. Kill that idiot and retrieve the babies. But no, you failed. You, you, you saw a police van and, and, and you left. You abetted the mission. Yes, I'm saying it to you, I will deal with you. What did he say? When they got to the venue, they saw a police van, so they aborted the mission. What? Shit. That boy must be a fool. He is. So what do we do now? We take the bull by the horn. Honey, I think Cambodia is good for our vacation. No, I don't agree with you. I do not agree with you. Hold on, let me tell you this place and you will see for yourself. Maldives Island. Wow. Yes, please, Sonny, take me to this place. I've always wanted to go to this island. It has always been on my bucket list. Honey, this place is so it's beautiful. so beautiful. Yes, I was going to tell you that. So beautiful, so serene. Look at the hotel, it's very beautiful. Wow. See this one on top of the water, honey. Wow. This is the one we're going to be. In fact, I'll go ahead and book it if you tell me to. Honey, this is nice. I'm telling you, it's so beautiful. I love you so much, my queen. I love you too, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the water. Yeah. Oh, oh honey, let, let me take this question. Oh, okay, no problem. Hello? Oh, Inspector. How are you? Okay. Go ahead. I arrested some individuals. Their names are staying at Scotland. Oh, okay, that's fine. So where are they now? Yes, Tell me. All the attacks we have been having recently. Your head lord, Clement, has been the master of the school. Clement? Yes. We saw um, some evidence in the forms of um, staying that is covered that gave us the direct clue. So currently, we have captured all of them and we are in our station. Okay. No, all, all right, all right. Um, thank you very, very much, Inspector Smith. In fact, you're doing very, very well. Um, this is a nice job, okay? Um, don't worry, I will come. I will come and see for myself. I'm very, very grateful. Please keep it up, okay? Keep it up. Thank you so much. Um, uh, yes! <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to know. I want to. Okay, fine. Inspector Smith and his team intercepted some hoodlums. Um, Scorpion and um, what's his name again? I can't remember. I, I don't even want to know. But then, you know, the one thing that really baffles me is that um, these hoodlums have a link up with um, Clement. Yes. Even as we speak, they're already arrested. Now in the um, a division. Wow, yes. This is one hell of a plan. I'm super proud of you, honey. Trust me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to deal with them. <laughs> so now we can have our one year vacation in peace. Yes. And are we going to Maldives? Sure, we're going. To. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to spoil you silly. I know! <laughs> <laughs> 
I love you so much. I love you too, darling. <laughs> Terrible nightmare. Okay. What happened? I saw my cousin. She was fighting a lady. I helped her fight the lady off. I watched the lady walk away. I'm turning back. I saw my cousin standing with a knife. She was standing as if she was possessed. The next thing, she stabbed me to death. Stabbed you? How? Uh, yes, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I don't know what to think of the dream. I, I don't know. It's okay, darling. It's okay. We have to go back to sleep now. It's just a mere dream. I mean, why would your cousin stab you for saving her? Who does that? to go back to sleep now. Okay? Come here. Just a dream. Please, can I talk to you? You dare not walk out on me. Excuse you. Now listen, my fair. I have tolerated enough of you in this house. Not anymore. What do you want from me this time? have a womb and I'm not disputing that but you are my husband and I can't watch you wallow in pains so please I am pleading I want us to adopt Sandra as her daughter but I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't feel my life is taking away from me. Nowhere to go, nobody to run to. And I'm dying in pains. Who's gonna come to my rescue? Accepted me, wants to rip my soul. Oh. What did I do? Who did I fend? Oh, why is my own so different? Oh, everybody seems to be hating me. I'm confused, I don't know what to do, I don't feel my life is taken away from me, 